Hey, it's Cam Dandry, also known as Fuzzy. I just want to say one thing about to all your brands out there. I don't do uh, reviews or uh, videos for brands that uh, have poor quality products. Uh, if it's not a good quality product, uh, I'm going to send it back to you. So I just want to tell you that. And today we're going to look into a Lexibon uh, product. And uh, let's have a look at it. Okay, today we're looking at the ultimate bike tool. This is a Lexivon quarter inch uh, torque wrench for bikes or smaller equipment. Uh, this comes with a nine inch torque wrench and that is of course quarter inch, right? So you pull that baby out and it's got all your Newton measurements on here and your foot pounds. So you just uh, pull that down and you can turn it. Okay, nice yellow lettering so you can see everything. It's got the black finish on it for, uh, you know, no rust or corrosion. Uh, it's got a 72 pin uh, sprocket in here. Uh, and that's where you click that over for right and left. Okay. Now we're going to give it a little bit of shot here right away and see how it works. Okay. It also comes with a three inch extension, your quarter inch adapter and your hex and torques all in here is two right to uh, what is that 10 and your torques go from uh 10 to 30 okay so you got four in there you got two four six eight here so it's quite a bit of variety to do any small machine uh whether it be a bike or or whatever it is right okay so uh, you've got the uh, instructions in here that go right inside there if you like. A little zippered pocket, which is cool. So yeah, this all comes with one unit and its own bag. And, all right, okay, so we're gonna give this a shot. Um, I got this bike a while back and uh, when I got the instructions, uh, it told me I had to do some torquing of the screws and so on and so forth. So. I'm going well how do you do that with a half inch drive that doesn't go down far enough for the torque right so what i did was uh we came up with this and i'm going to retorque a few things and see where we sit okay so when you're torquing stuff you got to make sure what the manufacturer wants them torqued at uh for a bike you know you obviously you got to have uh things uh tightened properly with your handlebars and your your fork and everything like that and then down below you can do other stuff too you can uh, torque your uh, uh, wheels and everything like that if it has the torque or uh, hex uh, nuts on them uh, now uh, for this here now let's see now we're gonna use the number uh, what is that six hex on this one okay so that's like an Allen wrench right and then uh, I'm gonna just take this three inch extension off right now. And when you put this on, you push this little button at the top, right? There's a little button right there. So that locks your socket on. So you push that on and you can't get that on without you pushing that, look at that. So you push that in and that little thing comes out. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. You can see it come out and that lets the ball inside okay so then that flicks on you let it go and you can't get it off all right so uh this requires us to uh do a torque at 70 pounds so we're gonna set this on 70 pounds so you just turn that you pull that down turn it to whichever way you want to go and you get to your 70 pounds and you push that back up and she's locked in right okay so now when you when you're doing this you got to make sure you're going the right way obviously so you click that over to the right and when you tighten this just keep going until you feel it slack off there right there you see that okay then you do the other one okay now when you want to do something inside there like this this is set in about uh, probably an inch where this can't get at inside there so you take this off you push this baby back in you pull that off you put your extension on same thing push that in and put it on 
and then put your put your hex on or your tech whichever whichever one you're using you stick that baby in there like that and same thing can you hear that little snap all right so that's that's torque to 70 pounds now that is where it's supposed to be according to the manufacturer all right so you can do all like i say you can do all kinds of little things around and this is super handy and i hope you enjoy it